Hi guys, it's Lisa and here I am again sitting in my truck and it's raining off and on. So, anyway, I thought I would talk about something called, that scientists have named, death, deathbed phenomenon. So, deathbed phenomenon is when you are getting ready to pass away and they say that you start to have hallucinations and stuff like that um like it starts four to six days before you pass so anyway i used to work in a nursing home anyways got my dr pepper here i'm trying to get off so much caffeine but it's, it's tough I'm going to have to give that caffeine a break. I tell you what, I've been drinking so much of it due to stress. Anyway, a deathbed phenomenon. So, when I was working at the nursing home, sometimes I would see elderly couples. And it was sad when one of them would pass away because then the other one would really have difficulty with that. And they would usually soon pass away afterwards. So, case in point, there was a man and a woman. And they were married probably for like, let's see. Like, probably around like 70 years. I ain't even lying, okay? Because if they were in their 90s and they got married when they were probably like, you know, 20 or something like that. Um, yeah. So they were married for like ever. Okay. So she was in a wheelchair like and he would push her around in the wheelchair. Really nice couple. And um, they would show this picture like she would show me this picture. Or, and he would show me this picture of them when they were, like, really young. This old black and white picture. And it was just um, a picture of her sitting, like, on this big rock in the middle of this whooshing, like, you know, waterfall type area. And her legs were showing. And she, you know, looked all, like, foxy and everything and, and cute. And so... They just, you know, they had all this great history together and kids, um, and they were just always together. So she passed away and the husband, after she passed, he was having a really hard time and he lasted for a couple months and then I come to work and he's, you know, down the hall in his room and he's in the bed and the nurse you know and the nurse's aides told me they said yeah he's getting ready to go you know and be with his wife so um how come when i'm doing this i feel like everybody's looking over here at me i don't know what that is anyway on with the story right let's plunge on so i go down the hall i go in and i tried to say hi to him he's laying in the bed and the thing of it is you know he doesn't speak to me he just looks over at me like he had his head turned this way and I you know and I came in I come in the room and he just looks over at me all kind of sad and he's like and then he turned his head back this way and I shit you not okay he kept looking over this way and like up a little bit from the bed as if he was looking at somebody who was standing there. And not only that, he had his arm stretched out and, and his hand closed like this. So he's looking over and he's kind of looking up and he's got his, he's got his arm up and he's got his hand stretched out and he's got his hand like, like this, you know? And I said to myself, his wife's spirit is standing there next to the bed and she's standing there while he's laying in the bed getting ready to pass because she's already passed 
and he's holding her hand. And so I realized that he like wasn't wanting to talk or was not able to talk at this point because the first thing that will usually shut down when you're getting ready to pass is your brain and you're starting to lose oxygen to your brain. And so, yeah, maybe that does make you just hallucinate, you know? And, but, or, or the meds you're on, you know, like the painkiller, the morphine, the thing of it is, so all that aside, right? Because this man was perfectly, he seemed pretty much perfectly with it when his wife did pass away initially. It's not like he had, had dementia or Alzheimer's or nothing like that. He was, you know, he was with it, right? But now that he's in his deathbed and his wife had passed away, he's looking over like that and he's got his, his arm stretched out and his hand clasped like that, like he's holding somebody's hand who's standing there. So, yeah, I think he could have been legitimately holding his wife's hand who had passed away a couple months prior. Because if you're with somebody 70, 70 plus years in marriage, and then all of a sudden they're gone. And I don't know if you believe in an afterlife after we leave our physical bodies, but I think I do. And um, if there was anybody there with him, if there was any spirit, any ghost, any energy, anything paranormal of that kind with that man as he was getting ready to transition and pass over. I know it had to be his wife. So, yeah, I sure couldn't see her and nobody else could. And I said, I repeated it to the nurse and the nurse's aides. I said, his wife is standing there and he's holding her hand. I think that's what it is. And, and they were, they didn't want to, they didn't want to talk about it. You know, they didn't want to speak on it. So I guess it scared them. But anyway, my camera's going to shut off. So I guess that's all for now. I love you guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.